Welcome to ITK Barcamp. Today we are going to go to one of our first introductions to C++ programming and we are going to do the classical Hello World program. We are going to do this in an Ubuntu Linux installation so we are working at the level of the console uh, interacting in the command line. We are going to start by creating a directory for our program. For this we use the mkvir command Uh, with this we create that directory and now we enter into the directory that we just created. The pwd command is going to show us the location or our directory in uh, the file system. Now we can start writing our code. We are going to use the vim editor uh, but you could use any other editor for doing this. We call our program hello world cpp and we start by uh, introducing the include line. What this does is to uh, load for the compiler the declarations of many functions and classes that are used um, in the code. In this particular case we are going to do the include for iostream. Uh, so the iostream library is dedicated to the streams. Uh, those are the classes that manage the flow of characters towards the console, the standard error, the standard log. Um, and so this is what we need in order to be able to print a message in the screen. Now the entry point for our program is the main function. Um, by default it returns an integer, so we are indicating that in line 3. Uh, the integer on the left side of main indicates that the, the value that the function is going to return is going to be an integer type. The uh, curly bracket in line number 4 indicates the beginning of the function and now we are going to write the actual line that brings the traditional message of hello world. We do this with stdc out. Uh, std colon colon indicates a namespace. Namespaces are used in order to isolate names from one package from names that may be similar or equal in another package. So it's a way of creating partitions between function names, class names, functions, uh, methods. And cout is the this class that uh, manages the standard output, so essentially manages the output to the console. And the um, shift symbol here uh, indicates that we are going to pass a collection of characters to the class that is on the on the left side. And now we can write our message. Uh, we open in double quotes and write the traditional hello world message close the quotes and we add the symbol that indicates the end of the line and return to the next line. So this is the, uh, again, std colon colon is the namespace and end l is the symbol that refers to the end of the line. Now we close our function, we indicate that we're going to return an integer, we promise an integer in line number 3, so here we are uh, fulfilling that promise, we are uh, setting the number 0 as an integer to return, and we close the function with the uh, closing curly bracket. So if we review, we have um, you know, the core of our message is here, this is string, we are going to send it to the standard output, uh, that is the, the C out class. Uh, after that we are going to send an end of line and all of this is done inside of the main function. Uh, this is always the entry point in C and C++ programs. This function returns an integer. That integer is provided here by the return line and the declaration of this class and its associated methods and function is, uh, functions is provided here in the iostream include file. We save now our, our file. We can review the content by using the cat command in Linux. And we see the same text. And now we proceed to compile this code. So uh, we invoke the compiler, uh, G++, the G++ compiler. We give the name of the file that we want to compile. And we indicate that the, we want the output to be put in a file uh, that is also called hello world. But we don't need an extension. The compilation goes smoothly, so if you don't have any messages back, that is good news. It means that there, there were no errors or warnings. Uh, we can see the result of the compilation. So this is the executable that we just created. And we can now run it. To do that, we use the dot slash. 
um, to indicate where this executable is. In order to clone an executable, you need to provide the full path to where it is located by using dot and slash when indicating that that executable is here in the current directory where we are. And the executable, of course, prints the hello world message. If you review the content, again, we have the uh, five, six lines that constitute this example. And that concludes our session for today. Thank you for listening.